Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a puzzle based on uh, floor based arrangement. It says that there are seven persons Amba, Bina, Chaya, Diya, Ekta, Fatima and Gurmeet. They live in a building that has not more than 15 floors, right? So that means maximum 15 floors. It is, uh, I mean, it can be 15 or less. Okay. Only one person lives on each floor. The floors are numbered from one from the lowest floor, right? So one, two, three, four, and so on. Uh, there are two lifts P and Q at the basement and lift P stops at the even numbered floors and lift Q stops at the odd numbered floors. The lifts take 10 seconds to cross one floor and halt on the selected floor for 10 seconds. Okay, so let us say, uh, let's say someone has to go from one, two, three, or fifth floor okay and then another person has to go to eighth floor so this will take 80 seconds and first it will stop for, te for 10 seconds so that will be at 90 seconds it will be at the eighth floor and someone let us say has to go to the 10th floor so 100 seconds plus 20 more seconds so that will be 120 seconds okay so that is about the timing taken by the lifts okay and now we are given some statements about the floor numbers of these people that Amba's floor is twice that of Diya's floor number Chaya lives below Diya and her floor number is a multiple of three there is one floor between Amba's floor and Fatima's floor Veena's floor number is exactly half of Fatima's floor and so on till this right now uh, let us put these numbers so there are 15 or less now one thing is given that Fatima lives on the topmost floor okay and it is also given that Fatima is uh, uh, Bina's floor number is exactly half of Fatima's floor number right so uh, that means Fatima's floor number must be an even number okay then only half will be uh, an integer right so let us say there are 14 floors okay it is 15 or less it is saying that not more than 15 so it can be 14 floors so in that case fatima will live on the 14th floor right so let us say this is fatima uh, then uh, bina's floor is half of fatima so bina's floor will be 7 okay now it is said that amba's uh, there is one floor between amba's floor and fatima's floor so amba will be at 12 okay then uh, the next condition given to us is that uh, Amba's floor is twice of Dia's floor number. So Dia will be at sixth floor. Okay. Uh, Bina's floor is this. Then it is also given that four floors in between Bina and Gurmeet. So if we take four floors above one, two, three, four, Gurmeet not possible. So it will be. 1, 2, 3, 4 and that will be Gurmeet on second floor, right? Chaya lives below Diya and her floor number is a multiple of 3. So, Chaya will be in the third floor. Okay, so now we, are, we have filled 6 people, 1 person is left uh, and that is Ekta. Uh, and then the number of persons living between Ekta and Fatima is same as the number of floors between Chaya and Gurmeet. Okay, so Chaya and Gurmeet, there are no floors in between them. Okay, there are no floors, right? Zero floors between them. So that means the number of persons between Ekta and Fatima should be zero. So in that case, Ekta turns out to be in 13 because zero people between them. Now it is given that Ekta does not live in, on an odd numbered floor. So this is not possible. And there is one more condition that not more than two persons live on consecutive floors. Right, so both these conditions are not satisfied so this case is not possible okay now again we will assume that there are 12 floors okay so let's take the second case 12 floors in that case fatima will be on 12th floor now fatima is 12th floor that means uh, <coughs> fatima is uh, double of bina so bina will be on the sixth floor in this case uh, one person between amba and uh, uh, amba and fatima Okay, so Amba will be at 10th and half of Amba will be Dia. So Dia will be 5th. Okay, then 
Chaya lives below the earth, so Chaya will continue be, to be on the third floor only because that is the only multiple of three less than this, right? Uh, next statement that we have is uh, that floor four floors between uh, Bina and Gurmeet. Okay, so Bina and Gurmeet four floors in between. So let us find the four floors. Uh, so one possibility is Gurmeet is at one first floor and another possibility is 11th floor, right? So four floors like if you consider this one, two, three, four, then this will be Gurmeet. But this uh, does not satisfy the condition. This says that not more than two persons live on consecutive floors. In this case, there will be three persons on consecutive floors. So Gurmeet will be on the first floor. Okay, so four, four. Uh, floors in between so one two three four floors in between and then the number of persons living between ekta and fatima is same as the number of floors between chaya and gurmeet now one thing that you must read carefully is here it says number of persons and here it says number of floors so there is a difference between number of floors and number of persons okay so number of floors between chaya and gurmeet is one okay so that means there is one person between ekta and fatima so there is nobody above Fatima, okay. So that means Ekta is below uh, below Amba, okay. And Ekta does not live an odd numbered floor, so Ekta will be on eighth floor, okay. So this satisfies all the conditions given in the statements, right? Now let us see the questions. On which floor number does Ekta live? So Ekta lives on the eighth floor, floor number eight. How many of the given persons live on odd numbered floors? So we have uh, Gurmeet, we have Chaya, we have Diya and rest are on even numbered floors. So three persons on odd numbered floors. If all of them are standing at the basement, how much time in seconds will Amba take to reach her floor? Okay. So one thing that you keep in mind is the floors, uh, the lift takes 10 seconds, right? And if you consider that Amba lives on 10th floor, so you might say that 100 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 150. Some people might answer as 150 because uh, 10th floor, 100 seconds and 5 people that have come in between. Okay, but that is wrong. Because it is given here that there are two lifts. Lift P stops on even numbered floors and Q on odd numbered floors. So uh, Amba will take lift to P. Okay, Amba will take lift to P. Now who all will be there in lift to P? It will be, uh, uh, B will be in lift to P, E will be in lift P and A will be in lift to P, right? So these will go by Q, lift Q. Okay, so all these four will go by lift to P. Now when Amba goes by lift P, 100 seconds it will take to reach to 10th floor. And how many persons will drop in between 6th floor and 8th floor? So it will be 20 more seconds because it will stop for 20 more seconds. Okay, so it will take 120 seconds to reach. Okay, now you will not count Amba because it will be, it you will count the instance at which she reaches, right? So once he's uh, as soon as the lift reaches, so this person will get out of the lift. So do not have to count that extra 10 seconds also. Okay, so 120 seconds is the right answer. Okay, the next question is Bina met Chaya, Deepa and Ekta at the basement. Both the lifts arrived simultaneously, but Bina accidentally boarded the wrong lift. She could return only when the lift drops the last person. How long in seconds will she take to reach her floor from the moment she entered the wrong lift? Okay, now what has happened is these people uh, boarded the lift. So there are uh, four people in picture. Bina, Chaya, Deepti, and Deepa and Ekta. Okay. Now Bina had to take this uh, even numbered lift, right? Do not worry that it is P or Q. She had to take the even numbered lift. She took the odd numbered lift. Okay. Now what will happen is, uh, so even numbered lift will go up and come down, and odd numbered lift will go and come down. So she can. Uh, she could return only when the lift drops the last person. So the last person in this case, so since he entered the odd numbered lift, the last person would be Deepa. Okay. So uh, if we talk about Bina, right, how much will she take to go up and down? 
and if we consider the second lift that is in which ekta went how much will the take lift take to go up and down so when veena goes up it will be she will go up till the fifth floor only right then only it will come down so 50 seconds right plus it will take uh, 10 seconds for uh, this person to get out 10 per second for this person to get out okay so 20 seconds and then it will come down that will take another 50 seconds okay so that will take 120 seconds to return okay now ekta goes to the eighth floor right so it will take 80 seconds to go up then 10 seconds for the lift to stay at this floor and then 80 seconds again to come down so it will take 170 seconds for the this lift to uh, bina to which lift right so odd number lift that is q so this is q this is p okay now even if she has taken q she has to go in the lift p so she will have to wait till 170 seconds for the lift to come back right so she will get down at 120 seconds so 120 to 170 for 50 seconds she will have to wait for the lift because she cannot board the other lift right there are just two lifts and uh, she will have to wait till 170 seconds now she will once the lift is back she will board the lift and it will take 60 seconds from here to here to sixth floor so the total time taken will be 230 seconds so after 230 seconds from the beginning from the moment she entered the wrong lift uh, that is the time taken for her to uh, reach to her floor so that is the solution to the set and answers to the questions